looking forward to the weekend, so we may as well start with the uh, Bet Victor handicap. So you, you may have a ride in this, actually. You're in the uh, reserve down the bottom for, for Eric McNamara. Yeah, Black Scorpion, he, I'm not sure if he's going to get in. Usually in these big handicaps, everybody, uh, <laughs> everybody sticks to, to it and they'll have a go. But if I do get in, you know, he's, he's in there off 10 stone and he might have an each way squeak. Going through the race, you know, it's it's hard to it's a hard race maybe to assess. The one I like in it is Mr. Whitaker for Mick Shannon. Adrian Heskin takes the ride. He won well in Carlisle the last day, which is a stiff finish. He yeah. suits suits the track. And he's two from two in handicaps around Cheltenham. I think he won at the festival yeah, last, the year. last year. Yeah, close last year. Yeah. So he he's a one I'd like, and rather be probably going to start favourite for Nicky Henderson is. 250 days off the track I don't know it'll be a fair performance from him um, the other one maybe with a squeak is Baron Alco you know he had a nice comeback run the last day ran a little bit fresh if you go back a year and a half ago to his novice form he was second to Whisper second to Road to Respect at the festival and second to Top Notch Gets That's in. decent, yeah. He gets in there off 10-11, at 10-1, to 1, he might be the each way bet in the race. What about you, Johnny? You've poured over this race, what we're uh, looking here this morning. What do you make of it? Classy race, like Frode on top weight, move with the times in among them. You know, he was he was only 5-1 to one for the Supreme when he was injured um, two seasons ago. Um, I didn't warm to him as a novice last season. I don't, I don't really like the way he jumps, and I don't think he's alleviated that with his reappearance on seat either. He just He's a strange method of jumping. Um, Yet you kind of wouldn't be amazed if he popped up in one of these. He's plenty of ability, um, but I'm going to go with King Sox. Um, he's a horse I followed last season. There was an awful lot of talk about him before Cheltenham, um, probably because of his run behind footpad in France um, yeah. before he came over to the pipes. Uh, he ran an absolute blinder at the festival, travelled very well. Um, it was a race that um, Gordon Elliott won with the storyteller, who obviously went on to win a grade one. It's good form. Um, and then he rocked up at Aintree and he ran. He went off favour. I think it was eleven to four shot. Very, very disappointing. I'm not sure what happened. Um, you'd have to say David Pipe. You wouldn't fear the yard as much as when Martin was in his absolute pomp because this was the sort of race that. Yeah, this meeting was really yeah. their time when they shone as well. I mean, but he's probably like twelve to one now. He wouldn't be anything like that price, you know. Um, but I think I I really did like his run at the festival to a point. I thought, given his inexperience, he shaped really well. Prior to that, he'd finished behind Modus in what was effectively a schooling race. Um, I'm going to take a chance on him at 12 to 1. It's very, very open, but I think there's, there's more to come from, from this horse. And in fairness, the yards runners aren't in bad form at the moment. Um, so I, I could definitely see him on the big race. And it'd be great for Danny if Black Scorpion got in. Smashing jumper. Probably not quite good enough to win, but he ran a blinder in Limerick and certainly wouldn't be out of chance.